The Great Pyramid is a true masterpiece and has rightly earned the title of a wonder. It was built with such precision that our current technology cannot replicate it. There are so many interesting facts about this pyramid that it baffles archaeologists, scientists, astronomers and tourists. The pyramid is 756 feet long on each side, 481 feet high and composed of 2.3 million stones weighing nearly 3 tons each for a total mass of 6.5 million tons. Legend has it that the structures were erected in just 20 years time, meaning that a block had to be moved into place about every 5 minutes of each day and night. That pace would have required the labour of thousands. At the temple of Hathad and Dera, a stone relief showing a large light bulb being used by Egyptians. Also referred to as the Dindera light bulb, the description is similar to the early light bulb known as the Crook's tube. The relief's version of this light bulb shows a snake inside the glass bulb in the form of a wavy line. This is believed to represent the hot filament. Snakes have been used to represent godlike knowledge and wisdom, and are often used to represent rocket ships or spacecrafts that brought ancient aliens from the stars. Considering the lack of technological understanding of the primitive Egyptian craftsmen, it's understandable how they would consider a white hot filament to be a magical snake. The filament originates from a lotus flower. A wire leads from the socket to a small box which Shu, the Egyptian air god, is kneeling. Shu was tasked with cooling and maintaining the air. Beside the bulb stands a two arm pillar which is connected to the filament. This pillar is believed to be the power source for the light bulb. This pillar looks like an electrical capacitor that we use today in power plants, and it's hard to believe the Egyptians possessed this technology. The presence of electrical lights would explain how the tomb hieroglyphs and inscriptions found under the Temple of Hathor were created without the use of burning torchlight. Torches were used to give light to those that created the reliefs, and hieroglyphs found in many tombs and temples of Egypt. So how did they do their work in darkness? The use of light bulbs answers the question. Some suggest electric light is in fact the only plausible explanation for how light was generated without burning flames in the deep chambers under the Temple of Hathor. In fact, the discovery of the Baghdad battery shows this could have been how the Egyptians powered the light bulb. The Baghdad battery is the common name for a number of artifacts created in Mesopotamia during the Persian Empire period and discovered in 1936 near Baghdad, Iraq. Through the use of copper, electrolytes and salts in a clay jar, electricity was believed to have been generated. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.